and welcome to this short series all about beavers, where you get to find out about these creative ecosystem engineers and what it means now that they're being reintroduced across Britain. My name is Megan McCubbin and I'm a naturalist and presenter and also ambassador for the Beaver Trust. I sincerely hope you enjoy this episode, but remember to watch out for all the others that are coming out too, because you can find out more about beaver biology, beaver ecosystems, their dams and how they build them, as well as a bit of climate resilience too. This episode is all about how beavers slow the flow of water. In the brief time that beavers were absent from British waters, Humans busily altered the way water behaves to suit our developing industries and modern lives. We impounded water with concrete, created dams for drinking water reservoirs, and straightened rivers in an effort to prevent localised flooding. Alongside this, we drained much of the land to support the growth of agriculture and controlled the flow of rivers with concrete edges and weirs through our towns and cities. There are now very few areas in Britain where hydrology, meaning the way our water behaves, is natural and unaltered by people. The absence of beavers has thrown things out of balance, and we have all but forgotten how water behaved before these changes were made. Beavers are nature's most experienced water engineers and are quick to respond to any changes in hydrology. In fact, Research undertaken by Dr. Emily Fairfax in North America has identified that beavers are impressive agents of positive change, slowing, spreading and storing water in the landscape to restore the health and resilience of rivers and wetlands as global temperatures continue to rise. Dr. Fairfax has even shown that beaver wetlands are effective natural wildfire breaks. When beavers create complex leaky woody dams, they establish pools which hold gallons of fresh water back in the landscape which would otherwise be flushed downstream into the saline environment of the sea. This is a particular benefit during increased periods of drought, offering much needed water security as the impacts of the climate crisis increase. A benefit to humans, livestock and a whole host of wild species who are reliant upon fresh water availability to survive. In contrast, during heavy periods of rain, beavers work on their dams throughout the night to keep them intact, helping to slow the flow of water running downstream. Beaver-influenced wetlands also have the potential to help us restore lost floodplains, allowing water to once again behave as nature intended, which we can live alongside with sensitive management. It's time for us to rejoin forces with the beaver nature's solution to water management and to embrace natural flood management where we can. <laughs> 